6B is REZ 2018-02. This is currently EA and CC. The request is for EA and a plan development. This is uh, Watkins and Camp Rock Properties. It's located at 4391 Rocky Ford Road. Has well and septic and involves 72 acres. Mr. Davenport. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, ultimately, on this request, really it's two rezoning requests and one, and based on the comments after the work session yesterday, just to be clear, with what's on your screen, the larger portion of the property, that darker gray, is what is slated to go towards the plan development for the Camp Rock operations. The smaller portion of the property, which is around the five-acre piece right in the middle of your screen, it's actually totaling about eight acres, is what's slated to go to EA or agricultural. So I just want to make that clear. It's in our packet. We feel like we have it, but I want to make sure we're on the same page there that they're rezoning part of the property to EA, but the large majority to PD. The other follow-up question we wanted to um, speak about was the reason why PD was chosen, or in this case PDR, which is rural plan development, is because the alternative for a location and the use of this size would require some uh, type of commercial or professional zoning. We and uh, the property owners agreed that was not the best option for the area nor for them. And so we went towards a plan development uh, rezoning request. That does require a site plan that's binding. But we felt like that was a better alternative for the use than to put, you know, 50 plus acres of commercial or professional zoning out there. So followed up on those two questions based on the work session and follow up. Other than that, we don't have any other questions or considerations at this time for you. Be happy to try to address any that you may have, and we think it's ready for your consideration tonight. Should you want to move forward? Okay. Any questions for Mr. Davenport? Okay. Hearing none, well, um, is there anyone in the audience who would like to speak in opposition to this request? Anyone that would like to speak in opposition? Okay. Hearing none, is there anyone in the audience that would like to speak in favor of this request? Langdale, if you would, please state your name and address again for the record, please. Yes, sir. Jack Langdale, 701 North Patterson. I'm here on behalf of Jay and Sandra Watkins and CR Ventures. CR Ventures is an LLC that Jay owns and controls. Um, just a couple things about Jay and their organization first. Jay is the pastor at Redland Baptist Church and also the president of Camp Rock. Camp Rock is an organization set up to primarily to help the nearly 1,200 foster kids that are living in the area, but also underprivileged children and any child in a crisis situation. Camp Rock is faith-based, and it is free for the children. Um, Jay's words, the, the purpose is to help as many families as possible to break the cycle of poverty and abuse. He'll talk about op opioid orphans with young parents, that are addicted to opioids and drugs, and how they do co-parenting, which is working with biological and foster parents at the same time. Uh, their organization puts on a summer camp on county property at 4-H camp, where they served over 100 children last year, and they did the Christmas at Camp Rock. This year, brought, bringing children in from over 40 counties and providing a Christmas for over 1,000 children. But the subject of tonight's rezoning, what will happen on this property, is the wilderness camp. And the wilderness camp is set up to teach children about agriculture, farming, animals, and outdoors in general. Um, Jay wants to give them the opportunity to learn about the outdoors in, an in a setting that they would not otherwise have. Uh, the site plan that y'all see has a lot of stuff on it, and we asked Jay to dream big. What would you want if you could have anything out there? And when you ask Jay to dream big, this is what you get. So, uh, practically, we don't think all of this stuff on the site plan is for an immediate plan. I mean, it would be great if it could be. That's all the future. Immediate plans, the first goal is to bring everything 100% into compliance with Lowndes County inspections and focus first on P12 and P15, which is basically the cafeteria and the storage and maintenance areas. Um, we don't intend to, to increase capacity from what is served right now. 
which is currently 48. In the future, capacity will be increased up to 300, and we would love to get there as soon as possible, but we don't have a definite timeline on that. It's just whenever the funding's there, that's when they'll move forward. Um, one comment about the buffer strip that was requested. There was originally a fence and a buffer to be requested on the, on the north, the south, and on the west side. This property has been in Jay's family for four generations. The property on the north side came from his uncle, Billy Jack. And Jay has approached all of his neighbors that a buffer strip is not on the site plan between, and they don't want it. They just say, we don't need it. Everybody is, is up to date with what's going on. They've all discussed it, and they've all written letters of support asking for the site plan to be approved and saying that no buffer, no fence is necessary. As far as any new owners go, you know, anyone that buys property out there will buy with full knowledge of, of what is out on the property. And we just request that you guys, or, excuse me, we request that you all uh, go along with Jay's request and all of the neighbors' request that the site plan be approved with no buffers or fencing between the Camp Rock property, the CR Ventures property, and the Watkins property. Are there any questions I can answer? Any questions for Mr. Langdale? Uh, thank thank you. you. Thanks, John. Thanks, sir. Is there anyone else that would like to speak in favor of this request? Okay, hearing none, we'll close the public participation portion of the meeting and turn it over to the commissioners for your consideration. Motion to approve, Mr. Chairman, with no conditions. Okay, we have a motion to approve with no conditions. Second. Second. We have a second. Second. Several <laughs> seconds. <laughs> second. <laughs> Everybody. Okay. Do we have any discussion? Okay, hearing none, we'll call the vote. All in favor, signify by aye. Aye. Any opposed, like sign? Hearing none, the motion carries unanimously. <laughs> we will move on now to agenda.